Jay Masters here, Delray Misfits, Boynton Barbell Center at the um, charity bench and deadlift meet. Getting ready to weigh in. Going to show you guys what I look like shirtless. Uh, three weight classes today lightweight, middleweight, heavyweight. I believe the lightweight goes up to 181. Middleweight goes up to 225. And the big boys are everybody over 225. So somebody is going to be giving up over 100 pounds to me if they compete at 225. Because I'm, I'm, I think I'm heavy. Right there on the side. Can you close the door for me, please? Yes, sir. Uh, Jason? Yes. All right. Red hop on. Make sure you yell out my name, my weight for the camera. Three thirteen one. Great, thank you. And you can do what Genova does and lift your feet off the scale to make it less. I thought I was going to be heavier. What right, the hell is that? Gave your bench opener already? Yeah. Perfect. Right, wait, wait, Jay. What? Hold on. Right, what, what is what is this? What? My singlet? It, <laughs> it was supposed to be mandatory. Did you raid Ken Patera's closet or something? You got him up? Dude, Mish. Yeah, I had, yeah. To, go, I had to go inside of his I place. I told him where the key was. Army in the 22 and a half. What are you wearing? A singlet. Oh <laughs> my god. Did you, put, did you put a sock in there? No. What the I'll just do a little fluff. You're gonna wear the t-shirt over it? <laughs> Fuck no. Good. So they can finally see the upper body development. So we know. that hole in the shirt? It, my thumb went right through the shirt, taking it off. The cock went through there. You sure it was your thumb? <laughs> no. <laughs> Dale, Dale tried to get at my dick with his teeth. <laughs> your dick would probably fit through there. What are you I wouldn't mind a husband and wife blowjob from the Chance family. Wouldn't that be kind of nice? <laughs> oh my god. Will you stop with that shit? <laughs> Is there any talent in there, Jay? Any women? Are you at Benabot? No, Look for the one that says vegan yeah. booty on her on her ass. You'll like her. Vegan booty. So I'm gonna tell her I'm a vegetarian, that's what I eat. Perfect. What did you <laughs> <laughs> What did you uh, weigh in at? 313. Nice. Okay. How many people are in the I've been taking f four fucking Anadrol a day. <laughs> and I'm very uncomfortable with it. <laughs> how, how many people are you up against? I don't know. There's probably one kid that's very strong. I thought you're over. <laughs> I thought you're doing the over 50. <laughs> Come on, let's play up the competition at least. One kid that's very strong. Everyone, thank you for coming. Um, once again, this is our anniversary party we're having this every year, and we always try to make it a fun event. So without each one of you guys participating, you wouldn't be able to have it, so thank you again. Um, it's a push-pull meet. So what we're going to be going through are the rules, the competition commands for the bench, as well as the deadlift, um, as well as all of the other things that we have to know, like deadlifts, you have to wear knee-high socks. And from then on, we're going to have Justin, who's going to be uh, helping us demonstrate what a competition-approved bench looks like. So. First things first is for the bench press today, uh, we do not have any rules on your heels being on or off the floor. You can have it either way you want, as long as your foot has some form of contact with the floor throughout the entirety of the rep, you're fine. So Justin's going to set up on the bench, and whenever he wants, he can unwrap the bar, but he has to wait for a start command before he can start descending. So he's going to wait here. The rep is going to give a start command. Start. He's going to pause it on his chest. And only when the rep says press, press, he holds it here. The head rep says rack, rack. And that's a complete rep. OK, so three commands, start, press, and rack. You cannot jump any of those commands. So say, for example, if you unwrap the bar, you might unwrap the bar. If he unwraps the bar and I have not given the start command yet and he starts descending, that would be a red light. If he presses without me saying a press command, that's also a red light. And if he wraps before I give a red command, that's also a red light. Okay? What are the refs looking for? So the refs are looking if your feet completely come off the floor, that would be a red light. If your butt comes off the bench, that would be a red light. 
Any questions so far? What about head? What about the head? Uh -huh. We don't have the rules on head today. Okay, so your head can be off. Okay. Um, any other questions on bench? We allowed one red light. So you need, for a good lift, it needs to be two out of three white lights. So one red light is fine. First, second, and Dale. I fucking hope you finish third. How poetic would that be? I hope you finish third. <laughs> I think Jay would have to move to uh, Bolivia if he finished third. Well, when Jay wins this, it'll be a perfect year for the Maniacs with the Catman coming in first, Jay. Wait. And Coco Goff's mother gave me a Coco Goff pillow, so we're the uh, misfits of champions. Remember that. You have to recruit her for the podcast, Lenny. Next time you oh, see her, it's, it's getting closer uh, and closer. Paradise. Yeah. Right. She's going to be, I mark my word, she's going to be the household name very soon around the world. Right. She really is. Yes, yeah, she's basically. Coco Goff. Yeah, Mom did a nice pillow with a picture on last night. It's a picture. Look at him. I'm going to keep my shirt off. Look at me. A power lifter that looks good. Look at her shirt. It says plant based dripping. That's vegan booty. Vegan That's booty. a vegan booty chick. All right. In response to Lenny's shirtless comment, in defense of that guy, you are way more likely to get some trim or some pussy in a gym like this compared to LA Fitness. They respect it, yeah. I mean, women here, you can at least talk to. Yeah. They're not like these goddesses that plant, you know, up on their Boy, treadmills with their makeup. That, Big Rob got slammed yesterday. Asked a girl if she was with Redcon. And he says, I may know your boyfriend. And she looked at him and he goes, it's none of your business. And he got so pissed. And she let me work in with her on lap pull downs. And I said, I'm honored. Pomps gave me a navy blue lineup shirt. I didn't know another one. The, the bedroom bully 18 wheeler shirt, he gave me in black, and he gave me the lineup shirt in navy. And I'm like, you fucked up the colors. And he's like, oh no, I didn't. They're available in a variety of colors. Maybe the size. Maybe they only have. This, this is black. Like, that's what I wanted. He, I got a navy one. So tell me what a fucking black one. Uh, he probably want me to pay for it. When is he going to put a shirt on? I'm getting sickened by his physique. Actually, his conditioning was better than Dale's. And that's saying something for a power lift. <laughs> Look at him. Here he comes. A legend. Hey, wasn't Ken Pantera a damn good power lifter? A limit weight lifter. Oh. Jerks the push press over 500 pounds. They all, they all walk like they just sharded themselves. <laughs> Beat up a whole slew of cops, Ken Patera. Look it up online. After a wrestle match, he went to McDonald's. They said they're closed. He took a big boulder out of the rock garden in front, threw it right through the window. Cops showed up at his hotel an hour later. And him and Miss, Mr. Saido beat up 10. I mean, beat the fuck out of them. They were clubbed and sprayed, and it took another unit to come in and subdue them. That's all right. So, vegan booty spinching. Let's see how much strength that vegan diet gives the maniacs. So Jakari, is this your first contest? This is my third. Um, I started back in January of 2018 for powerlifting, and so I've just been keeping up with it ever since. This is out of line for me, but can I let the maniacs know your age? Okay. What is 23. It? I'm only 23. You're five years older than me because I'm 18 forever. <laughs> So, I'm talking to an older woman here. What was your max bench today? Max bench was 100. Because I did a second attempt 100. So it was max. I bet you could have gotten 200 if you ate meat. Wow. If that's what you think. Woo, Brad, that was like that sort was of a like, low blow. Yeah, backhanded <laughs> compliment. How long have you been a vegan for? For three years. What made you decide to do that? It was health reasons, pretty much. Just wanted to make sure I, you know, when I get older, I want to be able to take care of myself and not have to have someone take care of me for whatever reason. 
whatever reason, so. Do you yeah. miss the taste? I don't. I substitute for different Cheeseburgers. Those were my favorite. But Have you ever noticed how they always make vegan meals taste like meat? Yes. A vegan that's, burger. That's a Freudian slip. Oh, you know, there's wow. a lot. That's true. I mean, I, I, I get my fair share of fruits and vegetables, but every now and then I like to substitute it. What is your favorite vegan dish? Mm. Or one that you'd eat the most? Probably sweet potatoes with uh, Beyond Burger and broccoli. Wow. Yes. God bless you. That's, yeah. To me, that's like torture. <laughs> You're actually talking to a guy that's eating three pounds of meat every year. Yes, per day. I'm not kidding. For the last 30 years. How do you think you got that? Uh huh. They say it might be undigested meat, but I don't know. I don't think it so. It is what it is. Yeah, it is what it is. I like that. <laughs> Another question. How's your energy level since going towards that type of diet? Honestly, it hasn't changed much. I do use um, B12 supplements just to make sure that I'm still getting in the regular amount. Um, I also use nutritional yeast because that has a lot of B12 in it as well. So, yeah. Do you eat dairy products? I don't. No cheese, no milk, no, no, cheese. no eggs. No eggs? Yeah. Do you think you can say sustain that? Sure. I feel like I've been doing it for this long, for three years. I think I can go ahead and How does your friends and family... They're, they're supportive of it. They're still, you know, regular, like they eat chicken and everything. I still live with my parents, so they still cook chicken and pastas and everything. But we just work around each other. They're super supportive. Sometimes my mom makes me like vegan food when I'm, you know, because I'm in school still at um, FAU in Boca. Oh, my uncle, Ron, Dr. Ronald Persons, a physics professor. Nice. Nice. So, so yeah. What are they going to ask? Uh, what made you decide to do powerlifting? Okay. Um, in high school, I played sports, volleyball, and basketball. Um, but when I moved down to Florida, I wasn't active. I wasn't doing oh, anything. So where are you coming from? Wisconsin, originally. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a different, so, different lifestyle. Yes, no kidding. Much different. But um, I wasn't doing anything actively, and so I got into the gym a little bit. But I wanted to make sure that I was hitting goals, setting goals for myself, and hitting them. So that's when I came across powerlifting, and I was like, this is this is basically what I want to do. So, Did you ever want to do bodybuilding or figure or bikini? I thought about it, but honestly, like my passion is just lifting. Like I just want to lift as much as I can. Um, you ever hear of the Ruby Classic in Boca? No. Yeah. He's competed in that a few times. Yeah, every year we do yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. Actually, it's, com it's coming up in a couple weeks, right? Yeah. The Ruby. Yeah. Yeah. The Ruby. Yeah. I'll check that out. That's a nice pendant. What does that signify? Haiti. Huh? I'm Haitian. Yeah. Yeah. Very familiar with Haiti. I love the food. Yes. And the girls. We're awesome. We're awesome. Actually, I'll be a little biased. The old school ones were awesome. That makes but, sense. That's true. Because I remember sitting native. there. Do you have like a single grandmother or something? I no. For her to set them up with? Not at the moment. A great great aunt? Not Same. at the moment. No. But I'll keep it posted. Anything 50 and above okay. that spend most of their time down there, they can cook. Yeah. No, yeah. And they just treated me real nice, and I treated her nice. So. Nice. That's awesome. Cool. Well, thank you for spending some time with us. Before I let you go, I got to get a shot of the booty. Okay. So. There it is, Lenny. Lenny, that's a lot. Uh, so my pre my pre contest meal was one banana and a full cup of white rice, and I didn't even have to ask Cornelius permission. Looks like you had a side of sausage shit. Shit links. Sausage shit links. Your breath, asshole. You smell like you ate shit with your breakfast. I brushed them yesterday. I would have thrown up brushing them this morning. Why? I'm a nerve this wreck. You wouldn't even have to move your arm. Just hold your hand there and let the shaking yeah. you know, do the work. I need to do two and a quarter. Because they're about done with this first flight. Jump on there with these guys right here. 
If I wait till my time to warm up, I'll never be ready. Come on, Julia. I'm glad we got here early. These old bones. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> one He just start, he just broke out dancing before a power meet. Could you imagine Andrew Kalora wanting to do that the day he did 650? Mr. Dancing Queen over there. He's gonna pay for that. The one who was shirtless before. Yeah, look at him. You like then he asked somebody to like my dance. Not before a meet, you're dancing. That's so real that's nice. Something, that's something Bob Zilla would do. Yeah, a little cookie cutter tattoo. Yeah. Oh look at me, I gotta show my physique. King of the cookie cutters, look at him. Sounds like you're a little jealous. What a oh man. <laughs> American as fuck. Oh, we'll prove it. Let's see how tough you are. American as fuck. Oh, he'll get that dance if he gets under 500 pounds. If he can do that. That creases estrogen. It creases dancing. Who is dancing for, Lenny? It's to entertain men. No, your father's quote, cool, right? Well, he said if you dance, the only people that dance throughout history were women, slaves, and queers. He's called queers. <laughs> there wasn't any homo, it was queer. My sister, daddy, daddy, what's a queer? And he looked at her, he didn't want to say anything. What's a queer? He goes, when men are... Look at your brother. That's a queer. She said, that when men are kissing other men, my sister said, what? She said, ew. But men suck, kissing but suck, men. But sucking a woman's penis doesn't happen. Well, he said kissing, so, you know. Uh, you got to let them suck your dick. And it's not good. It's a victimless crime. Well, I'll be seeing something tonight. i got to... be like the dog. If the dog walked up and started sucking the car, you going to tell him to go lay down? <laughs> Bring it back to memory, Brad, and postal roots. There you go, Billy. There you go. I'm sure Shaw tried to suck Brad's spot when he delivered in the mail. You know, there's sick fucks that, like, have, have their, their animals, the teeth pulled out. That's not a bad one. He's always looking for fucking excuses, you know? Oh, I'm, very, I'm all behind on my warm up. Like, we're holding him up or something. He's making an excuse because he's going to wind up in third. You know he didn't go to sleep till 4 a.m. Neither did I. <laughs> Jay, what time did you get to bed last night? About 4. You should ask Lenny about his night last night. Oh, God. He, he couldn't hear the door, so I know where his key is. I had to go inside and wake him up. I wouldn't. He wouldn't have got up if I didn't go what in there. What time to get him to up. sleep? I don't know. I had a corrections officer, girl walked in, nice black dress, gorgeous. And as soon as she walked in by herself, I'm smiling like this. She sat right down next to me, put her hand on my thigh. Oh, how are you, this and that. And I seen you here before, and we started talking. She got herself a margarita, and then I sort of like gave the spider where I went up to test her out. She went up her lower back real slow, and I started rubbing it. She says, oh, it feels amazing. Where was this? Paradise. So, we ended up talking, I whispered a few things in her ear, and she's like, I said, what are you gonna do now? I said, you wanna come over? And she says, she goes, sure. I said, it's a little close, you can follow me. So she followed me, she went over, you know, it was dark, she tripped on the bike tire coming in, opened the door, turned on the light, and she looked around, and she goes, oh, oh no. <laughs> she goes, oh, hell no, hell no. She, she's like, 
She goes, what, 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 what happened? And I said, what's wrong? And she's like, I'm afraid something's going to come out and jump on me. And she looked in the bathroom. She goes, uh-uh, uh-uh. She goes, I can't, I can't. She walked out, tripped over the bike tire again, and left. If your place was clean, you would have got some good Exactly food. right. That's yeah, exactly what I was yeah, about exactly. to say. Yeah, that's one of those things. But the other girl didn't care. I figured she was so turned on, well, rightfully You're so. batting 500. That gets you in the Hall of Fame, I guess. But the key is, maniacs, <laughs> when you see a girl you like, here's what you do. First look at her and then do this. And slowly come closer. Keep the smile on. That works 90% of the time, trust me. The confidence and the smile sets any girl at ease. Thanks, Dave, but that can't get shit off the floor when it's flat. Cardinal rule, never put a plate flat on the floor. Jay, listen to Lenny. To the bench press. Bully to the bench press. Bully, do you want your back done for sticking it You can. What are you going to do? Chalk his back so it doesn't slide with a little bit of sweat on the back. Do the LeBron James with the powder, Jay. We don't need any. Jason Levine, hard as 